So, had a very interesting um, afternoon yesterday for a couple of hours testing out um, the Mikey, Mikey, Mikey lens on the X-Pro1. Um, interesting for a number of reasons. Firstly, I was vlogging using the Olympus EP5 and to say that there were some challenges with the focusing uh, is an understatement and I tried several different lenses manual focus definitely worked best for some reason I cannot get the camera to autofocus in uh, movie mode it's set to continuous uh, continuous autofocus in movie mode but it just won't seem to do it automatically um, could be user error don't know as I say, tried several lenses, tried some Lumic lenses, uh, tried Olympus lenses. Not sure what's going on there, need to investigate that. But you'll see from the video that the first part of it is a little bit disastrous. Beyond that, it's not so bad. But to start with, yeah, it's just um, wacky. Um, so there was the focusing challenge. Uh, there was also, when testing the lens, the 25mm um, Mikey lens, I tested some, I was using a, using a polarizer for some of the pictures, and there's definitely a complete lack of sharpness when using a polarizing filter on that lens. Not sure why, it's not really something I've come across before as being a problem, but that was definitely an issue yesterday. Um, I also used the 35mm uh, Mikey lens and I got what I think were some pretty good pictures that I was not really expecting with this camera uh, manually focusing using you know sort of legacy style or legacy design lenses even though I know they are they are updates on legacy stuff but they're still fairly you know, old fashioned in the way they work, etc. Wasn't expecting fantastic performance and I was very pleasantly surprised. So, watch the video, see what you think. Please excuse the ridiculous focusing problems. Hopefully, we're going to get over this. This is take two because I just recorded the first clip without pressing record on the camera. Um, so, today I've come to a pond on the flashes, a small pond. I don't actually know what this one's called. The Flashes Pond, maybe? Um, it's a very, very calm day. It's quite warm today. I think it's supposed to be 24 degrees or something. It's pretty warm. It's a warmish ride over here, but the air is very still. I'm just going to have a quick, um, show you a quick view round of where we are. I don't know why this EP5, although it's in, it's set for continuous autofocus in movie mode, and it does nothing of the sort. So I have to keep pressing the button on the back to get it to, to refocus. Hopefully that's in focus, but of course I can't tell. So what I've really come here today for is to um, test out, first of all we're vlogging on the um, Panalaika 15mm, which I'm hoping is a good, a good lens for, um, for that. I have brought the 9 to 18 again and for a bit of a laugh I've brought a fisheye, the Samyang 7.5mm fisheye, we'll try that as well. And pretty much today is about testing a lens that's arrived for the Fuji X Pro 1 which is the Mikey, 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 um, 25mm f1.4 I think. So we're going to try that out. Um, I'm hoping that this backdrop is going to lend itself nicely to um, some uh, calm water pictures with polarizer, that sort of stuff. We'll just see uh, see what we can manage. I'm hoping the sun's going to come out in a little while. Um, yeah, I think it will, but 
Boy, that cloud's moving slowly. It's quite a warm day, and I think this, uh, the, the UV factor is very high today, so I've got some sun cream on, just in case. It's a friendly helicopter passing by. Um, yeah, so when the sun comes out, it probably is going to be really hot, and I'm going to make the most of it, take some photos before I put my hat back on to stop my head getting burnt. That's the place I usually get burnt, it's top of my head, obviously. Being a bit challenged in the uh, hair department. But, yeah, here is the... X Pro one with the Mickey, Mickey, Mickey attached. I turn it round so you can see it in the light. That's probably better on that side. There you go. Um, oh, it's f 1.8, not f 1.4. So uh, yeah, we'll give that a bit of a try. See how we get on. Can you vlog with a fisheye lens? I'm kind of assuming you can. I'm just holding this thing by the lens. Um, so that might be slightly interesting. I should think you get a pretty decent backdrop. I'm just guessing. I would think everything should be in focus. And uh, yeah, you should be able to see quite a lot. Maybe too much. Maybe too much. Um, how close can you get and still be in focus? Um, that's 25 centimetres, it says, and that is about there, I think. So that should be that should be in focus. And I think I'm on f5.6. So I don't know how much distant stuff is in focus, but I should be in focus, and I'm, you know, that's close. That is close. So let's take the focus out a bit and go to arm's length. You can probably you can probably see my arm in it. I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll check. We'll check out the. Um, We'll check out the footage later. The sun's still not come out, but you know, it's a lovely place to just hang around doing nothing here, to be honest. But the sun will be out in just a moment. Don't know if you can see that cloud. Yeah, you probably can. We've got the sun coming out real soon, so I'm going to stop this. Although I think I will have to use this for. Um, taking one or two stills while we're here. So, as you can see, the sun's out good and properly now. It's quite hot here. I'm not gonna stay out for too long today because uh, although I've got sun cream, I'm pretty sure I'll get burnt. I have tested out the X-Pro One with both the uh, 25 and the 35 millimeter Makey lenses, both with and without Polarizers, I think. I can't remember if I tried a polarizer on the 35. Might not have done. Definitely did it on the 25. Um, I'm now, this vlog, I'm recording it on the, still on the Olympus P5, the EP5, but with the 9 to 18 set to 11 mil, which I think I thought from previously was a pretty, uh, a pretty good kind of field of view. I, uh, interestingly, with the 35mm lens on the X-Pro1, I have tried some dragonfly pictures. So I think they'll, they'll, they'd need a fair bit of enlargement, but I was able to get in... The, the dragonfly here seemed much friendlier than x I have to say. I managed to get into you know, the minimum focusing distance, which was about I don't know, 10 inches or something like that. managed to get in real close on them, but... Yeah, it'll still take a bit of magnification and a fair bit of cropping to get it down to reasonable size. I'm just watching them down here now. And you can probably, yeah, possibly see some of the dragonfly action. Uh, I need to refocus this thing. There we go. But yeah, there's... Uh, there's Mm, there's a few dragonflies, yeah, there's mm, more damselflies actually than dragonflies. But I think I should have a few decent images of the, I think they're called deep red or something, damselflies. Something red. Red ones. 
Should it might have it might have a couple of pictures of red ones. The dragonflies are these things called the four spotted chaser, I think. I did look those up from the previous vlog at the other pond. And I think that's what they were thinking, because it's they've got four spots on the wings. I think they're the four spotted chaser they're called. I did also see a proper emerald green dragonfly as well when I was here earlier. I might come back here maybe uh, later in the week with the Olympus um, and just do some dragonfly specific. There are a couple of um, pretty ducks on this pond as well. I can't see where they're gone. They were there earlier. Um, so they may be worth a, a picture or two as well. But uh, you need a fairly long as always, need a fairly long zoom for that sort of thing. So we'll come back and try it with um, some different lenses. Actually, I could use this. I could use this CP5 with the long lens on, but it doesn't focus as fast. That's the uh, the only thing about it compared to the uh, EM1. I'd be amazed to try out some of the uh, maybe the Mark II or the Mark III EM1. See just how fast they focus. I think they're supposed to have improved it even even further. They're a lot more money, so I won't be getting one of those anytime soon. Yeah, I'm going to pack up soon and head home. It is hot here today. Back on the fish eye, obviously. One thing I didn't mention earlier, but which, but which I was going to mention, was that I also brought the uh, Lumix, the little compact TZ3, which is uh, the infrared, one of the infrared cameras I've got. Brought that out for a bit of a... Just take a few snaps really, it's really small, light, easy to carry, much smaller than the EPL2. So I brought that as well, just to try out a few, um, yeah, infrared pictures, see if there's anything any good there. It is a nice, it's a nice location. The reason I've got the fisheye back on is that, as promised, I just took a couple of fisheye snaps of the general scene. Um, before heading half, before heading off, I imagine vlogging that way around is pretty tricky with the sun up there. But a beautiful day and such a peaceful location. Somebody did fly over a little while ago in a, uh, what I believe is a tiger moth it just sort of you know made a pop 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 noise as it went overhead it did sound like it was going to conk out but i'm sure it's completely and utterly safe ish i keep forgetting to, <laughs> to press record on this camera i don't know why we're back on the 15 mil uh, panel Leica now and just stopped for a quick uh, rest drink stop forgot to have a drink before I left the pond so just stopped at this um, kind of wooded copse I guess I've stopped here before as you can see it is now so green whereas previously coming over here during the winter it's completely and utterly bare through here Looks like the sun's about to pop out again as well, so that might make for some nice kind of, uh, you know, contrasty stuff through there. So I'm going to stop and take one or two quick snaps before moving back on again. Mm -hmm.